my dear students and viewers i am pranjya bishwas professor and chairman department of english dhaka college affiliated with the university of dhaka i welcome you to my today's lecture on aristotle's poetics my today's topic is the contrast between tragedy and comedy my dear students in the beginning i want to tell you the origin of both tragedy and comedy tragedy came into existence in 5th bce while comedy came into existence in 4th bce and both originated in greece my dear students let me focus on the two words tragedy and comedy and their origin please look at the white board the english word tragedy has come from a greek word tragedia and this greek word is the combination of two greek words the first one is tragos and the second one is oid so tragos means goat and oid means song so tragedia means goat song actually sad song sung in honor of god dionysus then come to comedy the english word comedy has come from greek word komedia and komedia is the combination of two greek words the first one is komos which means revel and oi which means singing particularly happy song sung in honor of god dionysus my dear students now i want to give you the definition of both tragedy and comedy at first let me discuss the definition of tragedy given by aristotle in poetics uh, according to aristotle tragedy is an imitation of an action that is serious complete and of a certain magnitude in language embellished with is kind of artistic devices appropriate to the several parts of the play presented in the form of action not narration with incidents arousing pity and fear bringing about catharsis or purgation of such emotions so this is the definition given by aristotle aristotle also gives a contrast between tragedy and comedy in fact aristotle discusses tragedy in part 1 of the poetics and he discusses comedy in the second third of the poetics but we are sorry to say that the second part is somehow lost whatever Aristotle says that tragedy imitates men who are better than the average whereas comedy deals with men who are worse than the average Aristotle further says that tragedy deals with spaudia which means serious matters while comedy deals with paulica which means trivial subjects aristotle further says that tragedy deals with pathos whereas comedy deals with ethos let me mention another definition of tragedy and comedy 
given by Theophrastus, a chief disciple of Aristotle. And according to Theophrastus, tragedy deals with the fortune of heroes in adversity and comedy deals with misfortune. Sorry, comedy deals with private deeds with no threat to life. My students, another definition I want to mention given by Diomedes, a leading Latin grammarian. According to Diomedes, tragedy usually moves from joy to sadness and comedy from sadness to joy. My students, according to Sir Philip Sidney, comedy is an imitation of the common errors of our life, who is presented in the most ridiculous and scornful sort. And from all these definitions of both tragedy and comedy, we can find a contrast, some points of dissimilarities between tragedy and comedy. Now, let us discuss all these points of contrast. Please look at the board. At first, I have mentioned tragedy in the left side and comedy in the left in the right side. Tragedy represents better types of men, whereas comedy represents all types of men. Secondly, tragedy treats serious action of noble persons. On the contrary, comedy treats a ridiculous action of meaner persons. Thirdly, tragedy deals with more serious matters and more serious minded people wrote tragedy. On the contrary, more trivial-minded people wrote comedy. And Aristotle has this concept of tragedy and comedy. Aristotle also says that tragedy origi was originated from Dithyra and Panegyrics. Whereas, comedy originated from phallic songs. You know that the theorem is a kind of devotional song or prayer song sung in honor of God Dionysus. And Dionysus was the Greek god of wine, vegetation, fertility. And phallic songs mean a kind of song which was sung by the followers of Dionysus. And this type of song deals with merriment, joy, and the devotees of Dionysus used to drink and eat heavily. They became crazy, almost mad, and they used to pass the time singing happily through merriment and excitement. And they used to join phallic procession, which is related mainly to 
committee. So this type of Felix song is light and entertaining, but Dithaira is highly serious, devotional song. And from Dithaira, by, by dint of the passage of time, turn into tragedy. And Felix songs came into existence as comedy with the passage of time. But students, another important point of contrast is that in a tragedy, we find the change from fortune to misfortune. That is, a tragic character, because of his tragic flaw or error of judgment, that is called Hamashia, some sufferings, calamity, come to the life of the protagonist. And this change from fortune to misfortune, from prosperity to disaster, makes the tragic character very much serious. On the contrary, in comedy, we find action which changes from misfortune to fortune. That is, the, the comic character, though faces some problems and crises initially in the comedy, all the problems are solved at the end of a comedy and it has happy ending regarding marriage or reunion. So tragedy changes from person to misfortune. Now, another important factor is that the tone of tragedy is solemn and serious. On the contrary, the tone of comedy is light, happy, mm -hmm. even satiric. Another important factor is the function of both tragedy and comedy. The function of a tragedy is to arouse pity and fear. And this is very important. A tragic action must arouse the emotions of pity and fear in the mind of the audience. And if any character fails to arouse these emotions, then he or she cannot be regarded as a tragic character. Mm -hmm. Then what is the function of comedy? The function of comedy is to provoke humor and laughter in the mind of the audience. Then what is the purpose of both tragedy and comedy? The purpose of tragedy is to bring about catharsis or the purgation and catharsis is very important in a tragedy. Catharsis means purgation, intellectual cleansing and moral purification. And uh, the audience, the audience reaches this cathartic effect. And this is very much important about the purpose of tragedy. On the contrary, the purpose 
of comedy is to entertain, entertain the audience with laughter and pleasure. In a comedy, we find many comic incidents, funny actions, and this creates emotions of humor and laughter in the mind of the audience and it is highly entertaining. Tragedy is highly informative, didactic, but comedy is highly entertaining. Then in tragedy the language is highly dignified. As Aristotle has mentioned that the language of tragedy should be highly standard, dignified, embellished with different artistic devices. On the other hand, the language of tragedy is very simple, common, and sometimes ambiguous, creating confusion and doubts. So, the language of tragedy is highly serious and dignified, but the language in a comedy is very simple, very ordinary and ambiguous. According to Aristotle, tragedy is superior to both epic and comedy. Aristotle believes that as a form of art, tragedy is the best one. So, comedy is inferior to tragedy. I have already mentioned that, I have already mentioned that more serious minded, uh, more serious minded people or dramatists wrote tragedy and trivial minded dramatists wrote comedy and from this point of view you can understand that tragedy deals with serious philosophy universal having universal appeal but comedy deals with lower type of people and lighter type of theme. My students, we can give example of tragedy that is Oedipus, Oedipus Rex written by Sophocles, Agamemnon written by Aeschylus. Media written by Euripides. And Aeschylus is called the father of Greek classical tragedy. On the other hand, Aristophanes is called the founder of old Greek classical comedy. For example, Aristophanes Fox is a model of old Greek classical comedy. Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, As You Like It, all these are the examples of comedy. My dear students, I have given you some classes on Aristotle's poetics and poetics is the most important, most antique, most scientific and most widely recognized and accepted literary criticism written in defense of poetry. And 
Aristotle wrote this poetics in reply of Plato's criticism mentioned in his masterpiece The Republic. My dear students, I want to mention that the poetics plays a vital role in the arena of literary criticism, particularly focusing definition, nature, function, and purpose of tragedy, comedy, and epic. My students, I have discussed today the contrast between tragedy and comedy. In fact, tragedy and comedy have similarities. And what are the similarities between tragedy and comedy? Both tragedy and comedy belong to the genre of drama. Both are dramatic arts. Number one, they are similar in the objects of imitation, in the media of imitation, in the manner of imitation. All these are the point of similarities. In fact, the main difference between comedy and tragedy is that tragedy has sad and unhappy ending, whereas comedy has happy and joyous ending. My students, that's all. See you next. All the best.